People, move it. We're live in five. Bob, what's cooking? It's the Golden Meatball Awards banquet. Year's biggest wingding for Swedish chefs. <laughs> oh, yoy. I just know I'll go home with tonight's Swedish Chef of the Year Award. <laughs> Would you like a free meal and a chance to make some easy money? Free food and easy money? You've come to the right bird. I need another seat filler for the award show. And when a guest leaves his table, it's your job to sit in his seat. That way the place always looks full. Eat all you want. Just stay in your seat until the ticket holder gets back and you see his ticket. We get lots of moochers around here. Wow! My three favorite things, being the center of attention, all the food I can eat, and sitting on my butt the whole night. We'll return with our first Golden Meatball Awards after these words from our sponsor. Ooh, dumplings. Wait, wait, wait. I must see if they are as tasty as mine. An empty seat. Go, 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 go! So, when do we eat? Oh, a seat filler. How tree goes. And now, back to our awards. Oh, boy. Appetizers. <laughs> this little dumpling was stuffed with roast beef. Huh? Shh! What's the big idea? This is my seat. Oh, yeah? Where's your ticket? <laughs> I seem to have lost it. Well, unless you seem to find it, this seat belongs to Woody Woodpecker, first class seat filler. But I'm Wally Walrus, the great Swedish chef, and I. Shh! Uh, yeah, sorry. Minor misunderstanding. And the award for the best meatball in a side dish goes to Gunter Gustafsson. Bravo! Here, here! Mazel Tov! Offer! On your feet for Gustav and Gunderson in... Let me go! That's my seat! By Yemini, that's my seat! I demand you excise that woodpecker from my seat this instant, before I win Swedish Chef of the Year! Sure, just show me your ticket! I lost it! Wait! You can't do this to me! I pioneered the slow pot's meatball! Oh! That woodpecker's goose is cooked now, for sure, you bet. And now, let's bring on our next presenter, the world-famous... Woody Woodpecker. Hey, that's me. Uh, testing, this thing isn't on. Oh, hey, this is such an honor. Oh, you're too kind. Hey, how you doing? Oh, please, okay. More. <laughs> Oh, 
The award for Swedish Chef of the Year goes to... Hey, yeah. Isn't it an honor just to be nominated? Huh? Am I right? Huh? Am I? Yeah. All right, then. Let's see. The winner is... Mr. Wally Walrus. Huh? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I would just like to say... Get out of my seat! <laughs> my chair! I can't leave my chair! Auf Wiedersehen, my tushy little cushion! <laughs> <laughs> I got my award and my chair. I'm so happy, yeah. <laughs> wow, what a show! Action, drama, shtick! Listen, listen, listen to that applause! You gave the Golden Meatballs just what it needed. How'd you like to host next year's banquet? All the food you can eat! Woohoo! You got yourself a deal! Mm. I knew him when he was just a seat filler, you know. Woody, Woody, Woody! <laughs> what do you think to me that nobody watches me? Why, cooking with Rufus Ledufus has always been a, how you say, hit show for this station. Listen to this letter from Mr. Sheely Wheely. Dear Rufus, which is moi, please send me all your recipes, ingredients included. Ha! You can't buy a better review for a cooking show. You, g g what? What's the scoop, boss? What's the scoop? Wilbur, we have to liven up the show or the bus is going to fire me, you know. Well, like I've been saying, you gotta make more exotic like dishes, Rufus. Crap, Suzette! An idea has hit my fantastic brain. I got to make more exotic like dishes. <laughs> Get me this penguin. We're going to make gumbo! <laughs> Cooking with Rufus Redufus. I am your humble cooking servant, and today we're going to cook up the most exotic thing that you ever did see. Well, you're not my idea of exotic, but I guess you'll have to do. There you go. We're live at five. Hello there. Uh, welcome to my number one fan, which is you. I got your letter, and uh, welcome to the show, you see. <laughs> you probably want a nice warm bath after your travels, yes? <laughs> there you go. Now everybody will be watching the show, no? I'm on back here, you little critter! I am, uh, how you say, cooked in my own jeux. Get back, you little annoying one. I got a show to do. Boss, this ain't no jacuzzi show. We're on in five seconds. Then you better find the penguins in, no? No? Yes! Huh? Just get the penguin! <laughs> Uh, the water is uh, not quite ready, you see. Uh, so, instead, we're going to prepare a penguin uh, gumbo pie. Yeah, the uh, penguin uh, gumbo pie there uh, requires a delicate balance of spices and lava. So, uh, walk with me to the spice rack, and we'll pick up some loving spices. What do you think? Uh, let me see now here. Uh, we're going to make these ingredients sing like crickets on a muggy Sunday. <laughs> Whatever that is. Google it, gumbo! The penguin gumbo pie just makes me so, uh, how you say, exciting. <laughs> uh, why don't we take a little break to calm things down, and then we shall pie that penguin up real good, you know? <laughs> You 
you turned out the lights. Boss, boss! Do you have the penguin? Well, I could find a penguin, but I found an even better kind of exotic animal to live in the show up. What do you think? Hiya, buddy. <laughs> yeah, find a <some> penguin! <laughs> yes, like I was saying, uh, you cannot serve such exotic delicacies as a penguin gumbo pie and penguin gumbo gumbo without the proper uh, table dressing. Uh, while my assistant puts the uh, finishing touches on the pie, I'll show you how to make your party proper with all the delicious trimmings. <laughs> well, I tell you, nothing says the good life like doilies and the lazy Suzette, no? <laughs> That's why Rufus always recommends the oh, great Google Gumbo. And uh, that is to say, uh, sometimes you just got to throw caution to the wind and uh, in the oh. And uh, yes, uh, we'll take a quick break here to clean up, and then it's penguin gumbo pie for all. And to all a uh, good night. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I have you now. <laughs> Boss, I think I found an even exotic animal than the last one. Could it perchance be the penguin? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ew. I hate seafood. Wow. Is that no good penguin? Boss, no, please! The show's back on in five seconds! I don't care about the show, Wilbur! Now it is a show down! with Rufus Ledoufus. This is Wilbur. Oh, hello, sir. I, I can explain. You see... What? The switchboard is lit up like a Christmas tree for this? They love the penguin? Wilbur, you go get my recipe book and we shall find a new way to cook penguin, no? Wilbur, what are you doing? Release me this instant! It's your show now, sir, which means I can't let anything bad happen to you. So... What's today's episode about, boss? Uh, welcome to Cooking with Chili. Today, we will be making crawdad gumbo. Yum. Oh, no, you don't. I am not an ingredient. I am a great chef. I shall return and saute you. You shall see. <laughs> Movie fans, Mr. Alias vs. Dirk Danger Spy Wars Part 42 opens in 300 days. I'm Ken Tinselton reporting to you live from the theater that will premiere this blockbuster in 10 months. Right where I'm standing will undoubtedly be a massive line of Spy Wars fans. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm now officially the first in line. <laughs> Folks, this is one true blue movie fan, to be sure. <laughs> this is gonna be fantastical. I'm gonna be the first customary in line. <laughs> this can't be. I'm the number one fan of this particular movie franchise.
idea. You snooze, you lose, woodpecker. <laughs> I've been here for 282 days, 13 hours and 28 minutes, pal. This spot's mine. We'll flip for it. Tails, I win. <laughs> I can make a big sale for you, bub. Be right back. Red Hots, get your free hot dogs here. All you can eat. How's about a dog? Just step out of line and up to beefy goodness. I'm a vegetarian. That'll be eight bucks. Hmm. Add this to the bill. <laughs> Dirk Danger, my hero. Symphonies, woodpecker. Whoa. One, please. Oh, why, thank you. Enjoy the show. What? End of the line, pal. No cuts. <sighs> 300 days, 8 hours, and 37 minutes in line. Wasted! One ticket, please. Congratulations! You are the one millionth movie fan here to see Mr. Alias versus Dirk Danger. Yeah, so I was first. But now you've won this amazing spy kit. Plus, you get your choice of any seat in the house and movie tickets for life! Oh, boy! Uh, excuse me, but I want you to have this for all we've meant to each other. No hard feelings. Yeah, sure. Loser. 